In the year 2020 of our Lord, in the land of Wisconsin, during the second year of the reign of Governor Evers, Evers decreed all churches closed in the name of science and public health, and the people complied, and turned in those who did not to the authorities. As Easter approached, the faithful prayed, but Evers' heart was hardened. He would allow crowds at markets and clinics, but he would not allow the people to gather for God. And the faithful continued to pray that Evers' heart would be moved. Hi, I'm Bill Osmolsky with the McIver Institute, and this is your McIver News Bulletin. Both the U.S. and the Wisconsin state constitutions guarantee the free exercise of religion. But apparently, they're no match for Governor Evers' emergency orders. By banning gatherings of 10 or more people, Evers effectively shut down religious services across the state. He refused to make an exception, even for Easter. Now, many people, for the first time in their lives, will not be in church on Easter Sunday. Throughout the week, Republican lawmakers urged the governor to ease his restrictions on church service for Easter weekend. Senator David Craig even consulted legislative counsel. It determined that churches could hold services as long as they were outside in an open area. Evers then finally conceded a little. On Thursday, he said churches could have drive-in services in their parking lots as long as everyone stayed in their cars, even though they could already supposedly have services outside. Evers also said that churches could stream their services or have in-person services as long as there were less than 10 people in the church. Madison Metro, by the way, is allowing up to 15 passengers on buses at a time. On Thursday, Wisconsin had the fewest new cases of coronavirus in a week. In an online Q&A, DHS Secretary-designee Andrea Palm said it looks like the curve is flattening, and so she's pushing for even stricter measures. The next couple weeks are critical for us as a country uh, and, and for us here in Wisconsin, like every day is, and, and again speaks loudly to us needing to double down and stay the course and continue to flatten the curve here in Wisconsin. Governor Evers subsequently closed 40 state parks. And Palm says do not expect the state to allow people to get back to their normal lives anytime soon. We will need to continue until there is a vaccine or effective medical treatment. We, we will need to absolutely continue to actively manage this so that we are able to continue to protect our health care workforce and uh, our hospital capacity. Um, but it's all, it's all about the data. It's all about what our numbers are telling us here in Wisconsin. And we will uh, certainly continue to keep folks updated as this evolves over the next few weeks. Governor Evers' emergency powers expire on April 24th. He'll need the legislature's permission to continue restrictions after that. By the way, the number of days it's taking for the number of cases in Wisconsin to double has slowed to nine. DHS's models and recommendations to the governor were based on a doubling time of two to three days. You can read that report on our website at www.mckyverinstitute.com and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky, and from everyone at the McIver Institute, Happy Easter.